Hi there, you're back with Daniel Green from the Black Arrows and thank you for your patience for all those who have been waiting for the next instalment of these videos. Um, we've been comparing the new Parrot Anafi AI with uh, the Mavic 2 Pro um, on a variety of different projects. So um, there's been a bit of a delay, it's been incredibly busy summer so far. I also escaped off to Glastonbury for a week or so, which was exhausting, uh, and then came back and promptly had COVID for a week. So I've been getting over that. So thank you for your patience. Um, <clears throat> so um, where have we got to? So. We have been doing uh, like an estate uh, mapping comparison between the two drones. Um, the results from that ultimately showed, um, again, it's not hugely scientific, but we've tr tried to do a, a like for like comparison where we can, but it showed that um, although the visual data was not um, hugely different, it was a slight improvement with the Anafi, but not hugely different, um, the, the data that's captured so the amount of measurable information was um, around twice as much. So uh, again, that, that was very interesting to see. There were certain limitations in the comparisons, which I explained in, the, in that previous video. So today what we're looking at is, uh, is an oblique example. Um, <clears throat> and this is of a 150-year-old listed building. So there's a lot of detail um, that comes out from that building. There's a lot to see and a lot to take in. So um, I will intersect this video with on the on-screen examples, but as I'm talking, you'll see it behind me um, when it's showing my, my mug on the screen. So um, <clears throat> let's jump over here. So um, what I've done is I've processed, I normally use PIX4D for processing because we're normally capturing land for planners, architects, developers, landowners, and so forth. With the oblique examples, because my workflow, I'm putting it into Nera, um, I've been using Reality Capture. Um, because on Nera, it's a great platform. Um, I believe it's now out of beta and you can pay to access it. Um, like I said, it's a great platform. You can put up very, very high res um, 3D models. But what's great through uh, Reality Capture is you can also export camera angles, which means in, on Nera, you can have your 3D model, your photos, and the camera angles. When those are together within Nera, it means you can double click at any point in the 3D model, and it will present, it will pull up all of the relative photos to that point that have gone to, to make that point in, in the model, which means you can then click on the relative photos and, and review in the very highest resolution possible from the original source. This has been great for uh, doing building surveys and, and be able to send that to a client so they can view in browser, which is um, really um, a great value. So that's the workflow and that's what I'm gonna to show today. So, um, <clears throat> so uh, getting, getting straight into it here. So we have um, <clears throat> first the, the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, that had captured around about 750 photos of this. This was flown manually um, because we were around about five to seven meters from the object, uh, both in the vertical elevations and uh, nadir in plan view of the over the roof. Um, <clears throat> so it's not exactly the same, but but it's been captured a few times. So we followed this, uh, the same sort of program, um, and then it was around 600 images, so 150 images less um, needed captured from the Anafi AI. Um, <clears throat> the conditions are around about the same. There was a little bit more wind for the Anafi. Um, <clears throat> the resulting number of triangles that were processed through, um, um, through reality capture was around 135 million from, um, from the Mavic 2 and then 185 million through, from the Anafi AI. Um, Interestingly, then, when we look at the textures and the, the size of the textures that resulted, that was almost two and a half gigapixels uh, of, of data from the Anafi and through the um, Mavic 2, the 1.6 gigapixels. So um, a big, big jump there. Um, and then when we look at the, I guess, the, the combined total size of... of um, the file size of the uh, of the images that was around 10 10 and a half uh, gigapixels from the 750 images from the Anafi, uh, from the Mavic 2 Pro and 13 and a half from the um, Anafi AI right so those are some stats so let's have a look at the actual 
visual detail. So I'll pull up first the um, the Mavic's uh, Mavic Two. Right, and here we have the model <coughs> of the building. So we'll double click into some of this brickwork here. So nice level of detail. So a bit of blurring as we get in, uh, get in very close. But you can see that this is all um, so mixed stone, and you can see it's it's picked out the fact that it's not a flat flat surface. Um, and if we click down here, we can see where some of the water ingress was coming from. You can see there was a there's a hole here, and um, some of the um, paint here is uh, is peeled. So <clears throat> obviously, as we get in this close, it, it does blur. But you know we're zooming in pretty close there into a, a pretty big model. Um, we'll pop over here to this other window. You can see obviously the lichen on this. I think it's 150 year old building. And then we look at the more um, conventional objects of the alarm box. Some good detail here. Obviously, some errors <clears throat> from uh, from the guttering just above there and with the glass, but that's to be expected. Um, again, you can see that you can pick out these small holes. So <clears throat> that's that's the detail. So it's a you know nice level of detail that's come there from the Mavic. And then if we jump over to the Anafi, so we can see we we'll go around the model here. So we try to capture the same area uh, again this was flown manually um, but if we go above the, the highest window here so to my eye there is more a bit more visual detail we've, we've zoomed in there's a slightly less blurring um, but you can see this sort of a swirling where it starts to blur and I believe that's um, the sort of buyer sensor doing its thing I've noticed on images <clears throat> when I zoom into them you know, zoom in quite extreme, but zoom in, you can see there's a little bit of um, yeah, this sort of swirling effect. That's where the the software is sort of filling in, trying to give a bit more detail. But yeah, so vi uh, so there's a, a slightly richer um, texture, slightly richer detail there, but it's not fundamentally monstrous in comparison. It's not a huge jump. Um, let's jump over to this second window. Again, it's recognised that it isn't a completely flat surface. All mixed brick. And we'll try, uh, jump over here to the alarm system. So they're very similar in that sort of modern angular structure. <clears throat> Again, the gutter hasn't been fully picked out. And if we then just go back to this window I think this actually the holes here <laughs> the holes here have been fixed at this point this wasn't uh, same day capture so um, I, can't, I can't compare where one holes were and one wasn't but um, interestingly we'll just go in here into the, into the dove coat um, picked up some good detail there so <clears throat> That's the two models compared there. So uh, from my point of view, again, it's relative. I'm, I've tried to compare them as I would um, if I would, if I was doing a job and, and wanting to be able to justify a difference in cost, maybe, or a difference in time or time saving uh, to a client. Visually, there's a slight improvement in visual detail from the Anafi. There's a much bigger improvement, again, in the amount of data that's captured. So if you're going to be using the models in a measurable sense, a measurable way. You want more data points so you can measure, you've got more accuracy. Um, that's what you're getting from the NFE. Um, but it's not a, not a fundamental visual um, improvement. Um, so again, there is a big difference in cost between obviously the Mavic 2 Pro is no longer sold new. Um, the Mavic 3 is around 1700, I think two and a half thousand, uh, this is pounds. Um, <clears throat> if you get the combo pack, which I imagine you would be 
if you're looking to do this commercially. And um, But there's no third-party support at the moment. The SDK, I don't think, has been released for the three. So it, it, um, it's, a, it's a little bit harder to compare. But, but for price-wise, um, with a couple extra batteries, it's around about 5,000 for the Anafi. So about double the, the price of the latest uh, Mavic 3. Um, three or four times, um, or if you already own the Mavic uh, 2 Pro, then that question of should you upgrade? Again, what's resulting is there's not a huge jump in visual detail. There is an improvement, but there is a lot more data. Um, so that's really um, uh, that's really the interesting comparison. So that was my comparison um, with the oblique example. Thank you for your patience for those people who've been waiting for this instalment. I'll be following up in quite short shift uh, an example where I've taken the Anafi and used it to map a farm to around 130 acres. So it's slightly different. It's not a comparison, but I just wanted to show you how it was used. Um, <clears throat> there'll be some links below here um, to the nearer models that I've demoed here. Um, if you've got any questions, um, then you can give me a shout. Um, if you want to find out more about my business, the Black Arrows, just visit theblackarrows.co.uk. Okay, thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully see you around.